First of all, please welcome back to the glass court your 2016 world champion and this year's finalist, Karim Abdul Gawad. Oh, I'd fit the tempo here. Oh. It's just a bit silly, really, isn't it? There's a few players that have this in their locker, but they can play what I would call it's unplayable squash. We've got the day off tomorrow, but still. Oh, dear, oh, oh dear. A... Stop it. <laughs> Sorry, please. I can't keep my hands to myself. He's a stroke. That's a stroke. Kareem Abdul Gawad has won his match and he's won it in under 30 minutes. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Send out a message. movement from Gawad, front left hand corner initially, then he has to do the diagonal into the back right, but then the quality of that shot again, it's a perfect dying length. gesticulating to himself, which you don't see that much. You quite rightly said, Joe, it's imperative that Elias takes this. Otherwise, you get that sense that the way will go from strength to strength. Oh, oh, nicely done, nicely done. You had to bank on the possibility that it was going to go short in that front left-hand corner. 12, 11, he drags him in. And then whips it cross court. Oh, swing and a miss. Outrageous, that looked like a win <laughs> from the Peruvian Puma and the touch. Check this out. Superb. Play through it, play through it. We're having a real exchange around the middle. Just want to get that length back. Falling a touch short, it's being cut off by Elias. Oh, he's Ooh. got him, he's got him, he's got him. That's Walking superb, it's huge. Absolutely it's superb. The winning streak continues for the former world champion, former world number one. Yeah, look at that, superb, thoroughly deserved for him. Standing ovation. He dug deep in that third game, Elias, but look at that. Brilliant stuff. Great to see him back and playing the way he is. Oh my goodness gracious me, that is an absolute scandal. <laughs> it was a bit cool, wasn't it? using his movement Five initially one. and then timing it to show the deception. That is just typical Gawad. Where else Shibagi's doing a good job at the moment, Joey? He's just exposing Gawad in the deep left-hand corner of the court. The front and the mid-court area, Gawad is obviously extremely dangerous. Well, that was clever. How clever was that from Gawad? It's really well played, TJ. I love the... The way he kind of just popped the ball up, it was quite Jancher-esque to give himself room to get out. It's ridiculous counter drop from Abdel Kawad. 
Shibagi Four stayed three. up in that area of the court, but it was just too short, couldn't quite reach it. Well, we talked about the free flying squash, and now there's all sorts happening, PJ. Shibagi has actually lost his review, Gawad still has a review. We've already seen match ball saved here tonight. There's trouble. He's dug it out well. Still can't get the ball to the back, Gawad. Everything's back of the service box. It's short. to take it, Shivagi's furious. Five. Enjoying it to, uh, to the max, to be honest, like uh, uh, going on, uh, on the court in front of the amazing crowd every, every night is just an uh, amazing feeling and uh, just enjoying every moment here. Thanks to everyone, of course, for coming and really for, uh, looking forward for tomorrow. Sense of occasion for Gawad, is there? He's just getting on like it's just another final somewhere. Not the World Championship final with substantial prize money. Oh. He's done it again. He just, he's done it again. I mean, it's just silly stuff. It's just that bit extra with the racket face. Yeah, the shoulders have dropped now from Farag. It looks a lot more calm, relaxed, loose, fluid. That is a joke, absolutely ridiculous finish from Goad. It wasn't a bad attempt at the cross-court, Nick. Fair play to Farag, though. He always gives and credit. Three all. When a player produces a bit of magic, and this was that. Oh, he's got it. He's just getting everything, Farag. Thought that was an outright winner previously. You can just see the, the confidence now is... He almost got that, that as well. He's more oh, dead leg straight into the calf. No, I think he's done his ankle. He's in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. It was nasty. Yeah, the grimace on the face yeah, says it's all not good. Four for Farag. 11-6. Ali Farag equalises the maestro on Shabana's record. 11-6. It's it's brilliant to see Karim back on on the tour. I mean, we've missed his magic. We've missed watching it. We haven't missed playing against it and being on the receiving end of it because it's it's a torture, like you saw in the first game. Sometimes when when he's on top of you, it's just, it's very hard to to get out of it. So I'm I'm really glad uh, that he's back on tour and I'm very proud to have won uh, today.